thanks for watching. So a lot of people requested me to do a video on square root of minus one, not square root of minus one, that's a bit trivial, but square root of i, but on Black Pen Red Pen's channel, there's already an excellent video on that. And then we ran out of ideas, but what's the next thing we could do? Well, we can calculate ln of i. So bad marker, okay, so let's do this one. So ln, ah, much better, of i. Because again, ln degenerates, you know, this, this is for you, okay. And so the question is, well, what is ln? And remember from calculus, ln always, so if you want ln of x, it always answers the question e to the what equals to x. And so to find ln of i, we have to ask ourselves, e to the what equals to i. And the nice thing is we do know what i is in terms of exponentials. i is just ei pi over 2. Because again in this trig circle, this is i and it corresponds to an angle of pi over 2, so it has to be ei pi over 2. And therefore, well, our guess would be ln of i should be i pi over 2. Except there is a caveat. And by the way, I love this word caveat. It reminds me of caviar. Because, well, it is true that i is ei pi over 2. But we can add other things. What about ei 2 pi n? You know, pi m because of me, where m is an integer. Well, in this case, i would be, in fact, ei pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. And therefore, ln of i should be i pi over 2 plus i 2 pi n. Or if you want i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. And the question is, in this case, how in the world do we resolve this issue? Well, in math, you then just define two different concepts. Okay, so that's why in math there are two different definitions, and let me write that down. On the one hand, there is just a regular log. So log of z equals to something, it really just means e to the something equals to z, which means in this case that log of i, right, that equals to i pi over 2 plus 2 i 2 pi m, because we get e to the, you know, i pi over 2 plus i 2 pi m, equals to i. And this log with a little l, it's what's called a multivalued function because it has different values, one for each m, and um, it has, uh, this is in front the general solution, the most general case you have. On the other hand, there is the actual log, the principal log, with a capital L, so log of z equals to something, it means e to the something equals to z, and moreover, so it has to do with arguments, what we want is that the argument is between 0 and 2 pi, and let me just write this in this case, but of course, strictly speaking, you have to replace it with the argument, which means in this case, which one do we pick? Well, we pick m equals to 0, because then pi over 2 is between 0 and 2 pi. So in this case, log of i, in this case, becomes i pi over 2. Because the angle, or if you want the argument, is between 0 and 2 pi. 
And so there are two different possibilities. There's a general log and there's a principal log. And the difference is just the lowercase and uppercase. That said, there is an interesting thing about this. Because the interesting thing in complex analysis is that a lot of stuff that was true for calculus is not necessarily true anymore. Because one thing that was true in calculus is that ln of a, b, it's ln of a plus ln of b. That said, if you take the principal law with the capital L, this is not true anymore. It's not the same as log of A plus log of B. And let me give you an example. Let's take A and B to be minus 1. Then on the one hand, you have log of A, log of 1. And on the other hand, you have log of minus 1 plus log of minus 1. Well. The principal log of 1, that's 0, because e to the 1 equals to 1, e to the 0 equals to 1. And the argument of 0 is between 0 and 2 pi. On the other hand, what is principal log of minus 1? Well, e to the what is minus 1? Well, e to the i pi is minus 1. And this pi is between 0 and 2 pi. So the question is, is 0 equal to uh, i pi plus i pi? And no, because 0 is not equal to 2 pi i. So for principal log, this is not true anymore. That said, for regular log, the general one, it is true. So it is true that up to, if you want, multiples of 2 pi, which we have here, it is true. So, but log of a, b equals to log of a plus log of b. And the reason is true. The preceding proof was false just because of multiples of 2 pi i. But remember, this little log is defined up to multiples of 2 pi i. So as sets, those are actually equal. All right, so I hope you like this complex, um, little complex excursion. If you want to see more complex analysis, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.